Thank you, Mayor. Uh, good evening, Council. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. On February 27, 2023, an internal formal complaint was made that Officer Derek Walton um, <clears throat> violated General Order 19732K, Disciplinary Procedures of Sworn Officers, Appendix B, Operational Rule 1.01, .01, Adherence to Laws, Regulations, and Orders. At the conclusion of the investigation, the employee met with uh, me and has accepted a two-month suspension without pay and attend a post-critical incident seminar offered through the Department of Criminal Justice training in the future. On February 2nd, 2023, Detective Derek Walton pled guilty to operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Uh, Kentucky Revised Statute 189A.010, 1B, first offense, aggravating circumstances and reckless driving. Kentucky Revised Statute 189.290. At the conclusion of the investigation and after a review of the recommendation by the Disciplinary Review Board, the employee met with me and accepted a two month suspension without pay and attend the Kentucky Post-Critical Incident Seminar offered through the Department of Criminal Justice Training in the future. This is Officer Walton's first sustained formal complaint since his employment in, on May 4th, 2015. Thank you, Chief. Council, is there a motion to approve? Council Member Gray, did you wanna, were you up for a motion or something else? I was gonna see if I could ask. Okay, is there a motion to approve? Councilmember Worley, and is there a second? Councilmember Baxter. Council Baxter. Now we'll have discussion. Councilmember Gray. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. That's okay. Um, um, Chief, um, I'm curious. Um, the punishment? Uh, did this, this officer um, have any restraint on his driver's license um, with his ability to drive? Uh, if that would be part of the, the criminal case, and we keep those separate because we don't want to get into some kind of double jeopardy situation. Mm -hmm. So I won't, I don't discuss that when I'm discussing the disciplinary uh, action. However, I can say that uh, if that was the case for uh, a regular, uh, a regular incident, that would be taken into account. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Council Member Fogel. Thank you, Mayor. And I think it's along uh, CM Gray's uh, question to you, Chief Weathers. I know as a civilian, your first DUI, you lose your license and uh, there are some more penalties. And um, the reckless driving in the DUI um, is pretty serious for just a two month uh, without pay someone's life could have been lost. And so um, I don't know how this board reviews things, but if we are going to make allowances for your officers and civilians are punished more harshly, uh, I'm having a problem with that. And so um, I just wanted to make that statement. I don't think there's a question that I can ask you I'm, that you've that you've given us a great report. I know, so, and, I, and, and just to ease some of your concerns. Again, we keep the criminal matters separate from uh, the administrative matters. Uh, the court case was handled by the courts and they typically are handle those matters the same as everybody else. Um, I haven't seen throughout my career that officers get any uh, kind of benefit. I have seen that the court system uh, treats people as human beings and tries to be fair and equal. So I can I can only assume that that's what happened with this officer. So may I ask you if if he is given the same penalty as a normal c civilian, then if he drives our cruisers, then he won't be able to d fulfill his duties as a police officer. He wouldn't be allowed to drive his cruiser until he got his license back. Okay, two months without pay. Uh, reckless driving that's that's 
not for reckless driving. That's for violating our policy. The reckless driving is a criminal act, and that's okay. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Councilmember Baxter. Thank you, Mayor, and and thank you, Chief. Um, I just have a question about if this uh, discipline is consistent with similar incidences in the past. It, it, it is. We don't we don't have them that much, but uh, it's consistent. Okay. And did I hear you say correctly that this was a recommendation from the review board and uh, yourself, or just the recommendation? The review board made this went to the uh, review board. And the review board made a recommendation. Um, I um, I make the final determination for discipline, and when it comes to the review board, uh, since I've been chief, I've only uh, made a recommendation less than what the uh, review board made one time, and that was early in my career. Thank you. As, a, as chief, so. Thank you, chief. Thank you, mayor. Thank you, council member Reynolds. Thank you, mayor, and thank you, chief. I just had a question to clarify. Um, this incident did not happen at work, correct? It did not. Okay, thank you. All thank right. you, mayor. Are there any other questions, council members? All right, we have a motion to approve this discipline. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Is anyone opposed? All right, there, there's one, one no, Councilmember Fogel. Thank you, Chief. That Thank passes. You all. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. um, now